hello, shalom, or live long and prosper. Uh, well, uh, the speech will be about management 3.0 uh, uh, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow there will be a training itself. So, uh, who is already signed, uh, have chance to quit. <laughs> Who's not? Uh, you are invited and uh, I will be lucky to see you. Uh, well, Management 3.0 is a huge area of mindset, tools, uh, and etc. Uh, so we will just take a short look on one uh, discrete topic, at its delegation and empowerment. Uh, shortly, does it work? Yes. Uh, very shortly about myself, <laughs> so we can know each other. Uh, I'm from Czech Republic, uh, sorry, better, better, hopefully. Uh, five points question, uh, who knows where's the Czech Republic? <laughs> Great, there are some ones. So it's uh, somewhere here uh, in the middle of Europe. Uh, and uh, I have more than 15 years of experience in project management, agile development and uh, so many other things. Uh, except some agile things, I have also some Buka Buka PMI certificates and uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, so, knowledge from both discussed worlds. Uh, and uh, believe or not, it's helpful. <laughs> it's helpful in uh, agile transformations and uh, building connections and bridges uh, between waterfall and agile people. Well, uh, second question, 10 points. Who's this? <laughs> Golem, yeah. Uh, another uh, product of Czech Republic <laughs> from the medieval ages uh, with Rabilev. Uh, and, uh, well, uh, it's the real first Avenger, <laughs> if you don't know it. <laughs> Superpower. Uh, just joke. Well, uh, what's agenda? Uh, what and why uh, is management 3.0? Very shortly. Uh, and then the main part, uh, delegation and empowerment. And the third part, uh, just a show, uh, just uh, an introduction uh, in uh, one or two management.3.0 uh, uh, tools. Because, uh, well, most part of management 3.0 uh, are games and tools and this kind of stuff you can use uh, very easily. So, uh, where it came from uh, is a book from Jürgen Eppolo, Management 3.0. Uh, and, uh, well, it's a mixture. It's a combination of uh, many things, uh, many approaches, uh, many studies and researches, facts and experiences. Uh, and it's uh, divided into eight main areas. Uh, Management and leadership, complexity thinking, uh, empower teams, align constraints, develop competence, energize people, improve everything, and grow structure. So it's, it's huge. Uh, and uh, it's not uh, something uh, what's black and white or uh, what's some guide. Uh, do it one, two, and three, and you will succeed. It's not that way, it's more uh, just uh, an inspiration, just uh, thinking about things and uh, experimentation and uh, some uh, tools, uh, some approaches you can try and get your own experience and uh, develop. Well, why 3.0? Why not 4.0 or 2.0 or 2.1? Uh, well, uh, Jürgen divided it uh, as an approach, how to manage organization, how to manage people. And uh, in his view, 1.0, version 1, uh, is a pure carrot and stick. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, if uh, we give you some reward or some punishment, we will do more or harder and uh, have, some, uh, have some performance. So, you have some incentive fees, uh, you have some bonuses, or uh, you will be fired. That's it. That's the style of management uh, in 1.0. And, uh, well, it uh, works perfectly on assembly lines, 
on the field, uh, in these uh, areas. But, uh, well, to be honest, uh, in these days, uh, these things are better there. Yeah, <laughs> they are. Uh, they have better performance. Uh, and uh, people realized it in 80s and 90s. And uh, there emerged a huge bunch uh, of uh, different techniques, different approaches like total quality management, balance scorecard, and many other approaches which tried to do the right things, but still in the wrong way. Because still the main approach there was that uh, there's some uh, wizard of the first category, some more visits of second category and lower and lower and, uh, well, the big boss knows it's all the best. That's the approach. Still hierarchy, still lines and still these kind of things and, well, uh, you know the reality looks more much like this. There are no strict lines, it's some network, uh, there is more uh, not described connections. Yeah. So, uh, we will talk about complex adaptive systems, which are teams, which are organizations. And uh, if we want to work with them effectively, we need a complex approach. And that's management 3.0. That's why uh, and uh, what's it all about. Uh, you can imagine as a city. You cannot control a city directly. If you are a major or uh, some municipal uh, officer, uh, you can set some boundaries, you can set some rules, you can say, hey, this will be some administrative district, uh, there will be some shops, uh, there can be houses, this is some place for sport and park, and that's all. And uh, everything other happens itself. So uh, that's the main uh, idea behind management 3.0. Uh, you will treat uh, the system, not the people. It's like, uh, it's like making a garden. You cannot control how the plants are growing directly. You cannot tell to the plant, hey, make a leaf on this place. It doesn't work. But you can set some layout. You can put there some water. You can put there some stones and so on. And well, if uh, there is growing something you don't want, you can remove it. You can be like a gardener. And that's uh, the mindset, that's the view of management 3.0 manager. So, managing the system, not the people. And, well, it's ruling uh, or it's leading to to some results, like uh, there you have better and more management with less managers, after all. You can have uh, your organizational structure flattened. Not some 10 or 15 levels of hierarchy, but three or four, and that's enough. Well, how to do it? <laughs> We will uh, talk about that uh, two more days, and it still won't be enough. So uh, let's, uh, let's take uh, some, some short visit, some short tour into it. Uh, it's uh, from the area of Empower Teams, and uh, it's a very good, uh, very good uh, topic uh, after previous presentations at least according to slides, because uh, to be honest, I didn't understand the word, uh, but the pictures were nice, and uh, <laughs> well, uh, you can't just uh, rewrite processes. You can't just uh, tell to the people, well, there will be new organizational structure, now you won't be in some district, uh, district groups, now you will be some tribe or some self-organized team, and uh, we will begin on Monday. And people don't know how to do it. They are not empowered, they don't trust themselves, and uh, managers uh, don't trust them. So it won't work. There is a lot of work to do uh, to have these teams empowered. Empowered enough to take some responsibility and to do the job. 
and also to have managers empowered enough to put some power away to the teams. That's also a job to do. And uh, there is a, well, a huge resistance, as uh, previous speaker told. You can count with it. Well, uh, one book to recommend to read about that, uh, Turn the Ship Around, uh, which is a true story of retired uh, US submarine captain. Uh, imagine more hierarchical and more strict organizational structure than a <laughs> uh, nuclear uh, submarine. Uh, and it was, uh, it's a story about uh, his coming uh, onto one submarine, Santa Fe, which was very bad functioning. They have uh, maybe the worst uh, KPIs and uh, all measures that have been measured from the whole Navy. And, uh, well, he succeeded to be the best one in the Navy. And he succeeded in, in it uh, with uh, changing the mindset and the culture on that vessel from leader follower to leader leader. So, uh, if nothing other, uh, read this, because it's, uh, it's very, uh, very interesting. Uh, the, basic ma uh, the basic thought uh, behind it uh, was, well, everything goes to me as a captain. If uh, the lowest level wants to uh, go away from the ship for some three days, or something like that, they have to ask their superior this superior have to ask uh, its superior and my XO, so uh, it's about seven levels of delegation, my XO have to sign it and send it, those seven levels down, so it takes a week about, and then this guy can or cannot go away. That's uh, very ineffective, very uh, time-taking, and well, nothing, nothing you would like to do. And... Uh, he realized, well, maybe it's better to make this bad process more effective, change it. Why we should have more effective bad process? That doesn't any sense. So, well, chief of the department decides. The nearest superior decides and he doesn't uh, need uh, some signing of XO or uh, an, uh, another senior. Why not? And it led into very interesting results. Uh, the chiefs of the departments didn't took care only about vacations and holidays. They started to uh, take care about educational and development plans and all other organization of time of their people. As a result of this one simple change in their organization, they started to be empowered to take care about their department. And it was very easy. And there is a lot of clutches like this. So uh, I really recommend, and it's uh, totally compatible with uh, this uh, management 3.0 mindset. Well, uh, the second thought about that, uh, is to control or not to control. Is to have some central node and central planning or to be decentralized. To have the power on the line, uh, on the bottom. Uh, well, uh, maybe you remember uh, how the central planning on the large scale uh, have been working in second half of the 20th century. Uh, to remember it, this is first McDonald's in Russia and Q in front of it. You can remember how this central planning worked good. I think it wasn't so, worked so good. Uh, well, so uh, we aim to more powerful system. We don't aim to better control of people because, well, you know, uh, you can't control them either. It's not possible. Uh, so, the issue uh, is there that uh, managers fear 
of loss of control, and they don't trust that that bunch of people in the basement is able to take care, is able to take care of some responsibility and uh, get the job done without any strict control. And on the other hand, guys in the basement, maybe they don't know how to do it. Or they, they have some bad experience from the past because they tried to do something and their fingers uh, were very hard uh, bunched. <laughs> because they tried second time and uh, it, was, uh, it was again not the good one. So uh, it was like to walk in some invisible electric fence. So after they failed uh, to make it for the third time, they stopped. <laughs> yes. And that's the main issue here. Uh, usually when manager delegates something, very often there are no clear boundaries, there are no clear understanding. What does it mean? What's expected from the manager? What's expected from the team member? and what's uh, expected between them. Usually this discussion didn't happen, and there's that electric fence you can, uh, you can walk into, so you stop trying, usually. So, uh, we are trying to change this perspective. Uh, maybe you have learned on some soft skill course or some leadership course, uh, something about situational uh, leadership. I make a control c control v into this presentation from uh, from this website this is official uh, website of situational leadership and take a look at that sentence is there what's the mindset behind it relationship between leaders and followers a leader decides upon his diagnosis who's able to take some responsibility. So it's still this 2.0 mindset. I'm the leader, I'm deciding. I'm the most bravest and smartest and most capable person in the room. Uh, management 3.0 realized, well, maybe it's not so, <laughs> maybe it's not so strong. Maybe I'm not so smart to have everything about everything. So, uh, it's not a binary thing in Management 3.0. And there are uh, much more levels than to be a dictator and uh, tell everything to everybody, or uh, to have some anarchy where everybody does uh, what thinks uh, is the best without any control. That maybe wouldn't uh, be good in business also. So we need some, something between and some levels, some balance in it. And if we have some cross-functional team, we need to get some job, uh, we can tell what to do as a first level, as a first, uh, a first way to delegate. This is uh, this hierarchical, strict, uh, authoritative telling, do it and do it because I'm saying it because I tell you, you should do it. No questions, no discussion, and if you fail, it will be for the last time. You know it. Second level is selling. You are trying to convince the people that uh, what you need to do is a good thing. It's a right thing to do. So, for example, we choose to go to the moon. We choose. So the decision has been made. But then there's some explanation, some selling of this thought, some selling of this decision to have people more on board, to uh, have people more understand. Okay? Third, consult. You ask people for their opinions for their thoughts about the task, about the goal, and then you made the decision. After consideration, what you have heard. Uh, maybe you can remember 
Star Trek, the next generation. There were many situations in this level, in this mode. Captain asks for opinions and then decides absolutely different. Yes, but he took this uh, into consideration, these opinions, uh, these thoughts uh, from the others. Uh, fourth level, agree. Now you are heading for consensus. You are trying to find consensus. So it's one for all, all for one. Yes, consensus. You are equal on the same level. And we are heading more on, and we are on the level five. Uh, you can advise, but the team or the team member you are dele delegating to decides on his own. It's their decision, not yours. Okay? Uh, of course, uh, you, have, uh, you have to choose uh, proper words. Uh, unless uh, this, uh, this advising can lead to some well raised emotions. Yes, so you, ca you have to be careful. Level six, inquire. Uh, it's the opposite of selling. The team or the team member made the decision and should convince you it's a good one. Yes, it's opal, totally opposite. Uh, so, what's your plan? Convince me. Explain. And then I have, uh, I can give you some green, green light and go. Well, and level seven, fully delegation. That means uh, it's uh, just uh, who will take care about what, and you don't know, want any details, because it's, it's some unnecessary information. Yes, so you can have meeting like this, and who will do what, and okay, let's do it. No control, no some uh, local and uh, uh, very, very micromanagement. Just who will do what. Okay, so it's some arc from one to seven, uh, and it's uh, symmetry in it, as maybe, as maybe it was heard. Uh, so, consult is opposite of advice, selling uh, is opposite of inquiring, and of course, telling is opposite of delegating. Yeah? So it's symmetrical model, seven levels. And uh, what to do with it, for example, uh, is to play these cards. That's why it uh, looks like cards, because you can make a delegation poker with it. And uh, you can bring uh, up some delegation board as a tool, like this, where there are those uh, seven levels of delegation. And uh, on the other side, you can have some key decision areas where the delegation can be discussed. So, uh, for example, decisions about office hours. When do we have to be in work? What time and what time can we quit? And you can play the poker. The team, uh, the team can discuss what the decision is about, and then everybody chooses his card, what he thinks it would be better, secretly. And then everybody on the same time will raise their card, their number, and who has the highest and lowest should explain why. Then the team discuss and you, uh, you are making the second round unless you reach consensus, for example. Yes, that, that's one way how to play it. So, uh, here the office hours are kept on one, manager uh, kept this uh, power uh, in his hands. Uh, and on the other hand, uh, for example, team membership, uh, it looks like uh, that team can decide who will be the new team member, who should be kicked out, and so on. 
and uh, it's on level five, so the manager just advising, hey, I think you shouldn't do it, but it's your decision. And you can have it transparent, visualized, and everybody knows after, uh, after such uh, playing uh, what is the level of delegation in these key areas. So there's some understanding. Team and team members know what are they expected to do. Manager have some clearance what uh, is kept with him and what's uh, delegated to the team. And there's some understanding. Much better. Okay? Well, and that's it. I have minus 10 seconds for questions. <laughs> so uh, maybe uh, if uh, there are any there will be lunch, there will be some mingling uh, on the afternoon, and there will be that training. So if you are interested, sign in. We will discuss it more, and you will try to play it. Have a nice day.